What's up guys, Willie's Comics back with another video. I have an awesome haul here today. Um, went to a Comic Con about an hour and a half away. Was bored and this was like the only thing I did this weekend. So I drove and I would say it was a really successful con. Um, got some cool stuff, a lot of stuff. Pretty much everything's for the personal collection except for one book. So yeah, um, I really only get stuff, you know, to flip if it's like a really good deal. And I'm usually not even looking for stuff to flip unless I have nothing that I'm looking for. But right now I'm in the middle of like actually trying to find books that I want. So, um, but before I get into the, the that haul, I got this Dr. Afro 24 variant, Lord Moman cover. I love Lord Moman from the Darth Vader, Charles Souls run. Was one of my favorite characters in that, like in the comics realm of, for Star Wars. So I had to show that off. And apparently this book's pretty hot right now anyway. So I had to show that off. And I'll just go in order of what I picked up while I was there today. Um, so yeah, uh, first thing, first place I stopped off at, I got four books and I paid 25 bucks. So these three were marked at $3 a piece. I got this one cause it's a Riddler cover. Um, Brave and the Bold, 183, Batman and the Riddler. It's got Riddler on the cover. Um, then I got Supervillain Team Up 11 and 13. I might have that, but I bought it anyway. So I got to really got to figure out which ones I have and don't have. But there's 11 and then there's 13. I don't think I have this one though. Those are cool. And then I picked up this book, which I just dropped on the corner. The book's fine, but I'm going to, I'm going to redo, re, rebag and board it anyway. But this is a really cool book and I just finished the show. So I want, I've been looking for this book. It's a, uh, Alex Ross cover and a newsstand, which goes for more than the, there's the regular, you know, direct edition, but this is game of Thrones number one for 20 bucks. And I thought that was a steal again, newsstand edition. They also had one of the variants for 20 bucks, but I'm not really looking to collect this run, but I really like the show and I love Alex Ross and I think that's just a very nice cover, like really cool cover. So why not? Um, I don't really, I don't plan on collecting this run, but we'll see. So yeah, that's cool. I'm excited about that. Um, next place I stopped off, I believe I, this was the second place. Yeah, I got Brave and the Bull 166. Uh, Batman and Black Canary. I love Black Canary, Batman, and I love Batman, but just a really cool Penguin cover. This is mainly just because it's a really nice cover. I paid 10 bucks for this one, marked at 12. So there's that. Uh, next, I believe, yeah, I went here. So this guy had, they had a ton of variants. This was actually the local shop in the area that I was going to stop at, but after I went to the con, but they're closed on Sundays. But they were at the con, so obviously they didn't have their entire store. But they had a bunch of variants that were half off. So I got three and then one dollar book. I paid 40 bucks for everything. So this is the Joker, number 15. I believe this is the first appearance of Bane's daughter. But it was 40, marked at now it's 20. I got it because it's just a sick Bane cover. So I had, and it's, I think that's actually a pretty decent deal on that book. So I had to get that. Um, I got these two because these are both variants and I really, really, really like this comic. I read it. Awesome story. This is Batman One Bad Day, the Riddler. And I got this variant. I don't know which one, who the artists are, but I know there's, I think I'm only missing the A cover and then the uh, 1 in 100 cover. So I got this one and then I got this one. This one was 30, so marked down to 15. This one was 15, so marked down to seven and a half. And then I got this $1 Joker comic, just cause. Um, definitely the best pickup there was the Bane cover. That is really cool. Um, but I do want to get the one on 100 for that book, which goes for like about a hundred bucks, give or take a little bit, depending on where you get it from. Um, next I went, I got, or I'll show these first. I got this random book from this one guy. I got another book from him, but I went back and got this other thing. So I got Double Shot, number two. It's just paid five bucks as a Doom cover. So I don't know if this is like a 
what this is. I'll probably open it up and check it out, but just a cool dome cover, doom cover. And then these, this was a dollar, um, or these are both a dollar. I got Brave and the Bold, number 130, Joker cover, just funny cover, and Two-Face. And then, I don't know if this is Catwoman or not. I honestly don't know, but I got it because it's a buck. I thought it was Catwoman. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure that out. And then, the last, I'll show the last thing, or that last. Then I got two, I've never picked up a slab from a con before. This is the first time I've done it, and I picked up two. Mainly because it was, I felt like it was a solid deal. Um, I wouldn't have paid any more than what I paid for these. He was basically asking 75 a piece for these. They were both variants, both 9.8s. One's a CDC, one's a CBCS. Um, one of them I might, I'll probably end up keeping. The other one, no. But I looked at this. I did, this is a variant cover. This is a retailer incentive cover. Batman 40, New 52. Again, Joker cover. It's a CBCS 9.8. Uh, pretty cool cover. And then I got Superior Spider-Man 27, which is also, uh, I think, a retailer incentive variant or some of some sort. But it's a really cool Green Goblin cover. This book's actually worth, like, a little bit, I think. Um, uh, I'll probably keep the Joker book and then sell this one. And I don't know what it is. This case just feels better than this case. Uh... I think CBCS. I I would send books to CBCS personally, but no, nah, I'm just it was a good deal. He wanted like a 75 piece, so 150. I think he said 140 he would do, uh, or maybe I think he said 120, and then I just said I, I could I'd do 100 because I wasn't really interested in buying them, but for 100 bucks I told him I'd do it. So he agreed. He didn't seem too happy about it, but he agreed to it. So I don't know. And then this is probably the best pickup of the day. This guy wouldn't budge from 40 bucks. This is he had a marked at 45. He wouldn't budge from 40. But I traded a Marvel team out 141 uh to him for this. And it was like a lower mid-grade copy. So it wasn't even like that expensive of a book. I had I showed him a bunch of books that I had brought, like multiples. I had a high grade Marvel Team 141, but that one's probably like a hundred dollar book almost you know like 80 to 100 dollars the one that i was showing was probably worth like 40 you know so we traded and i got uh bring on the bad guys by stanley and super cool art on that and i think it's just a bunch of stories from for these different villains so i'm probably gonna open this up and read it and then maybe try to find a new bag for it but i'm stoked about that so that was a really cool pickup as well but that's about it. So thanks for watching and until next time.